Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am pre-filming again. again. Whenever I have a, time, a chance or an opportunity, I will film. So before we go any further, I will share with you what I have on my lips. It is from the collection exclusive JLo's Nude from L'Oreal Paris. And JLo's Nude is Jennifer Lopez, of course, and number 370. I've worn this before. Santa Claus dropped this off in my stocking at Christmas and I love it. Uh, good job, Santa. So I wanted to come to you guys uh, with a, the wax cocktail time. So I have three brands that I would like to show with you guys. And I'll start off with the item that I wanted to match up my other items to. And I will just do like a mini review for each and every single one of these things. First off, we'll start off with a candle that I pulled out that I'm like, as soon as, and you'll see in a minute, as soon as I got one particular wax melt, I was like, oh my goodness, that's exactly the same as this. So this is Bath & Body Works 3 Wick Candle in Sunny Coconut. And this came out last summer, or the, probably the tail end of spring of 2016. It had the um, lids, whatever, but it was kind of cool. And this, to me, last year was the first time this was out. I Sunny Coconut... Um, I don't remember the, the description, but it's it's truly, it's just coconut with a little bit of orange. Like it had the creamy coconut, the coconut milk and orange and that kind of thing. So, and, and I burnt one. There's already a review up on my Bath and Body Works for the other candle that I purchased with this, the same scent. So this is not necessarily a review on this particular candle. I like the packaging, think it's really cool. Very, very sparkly, very under the sea kind of thing. Um, so three wick candle. So because I was like, I feel like burning this, I'm going to pull some wax melts that I think that I can combo up. But before I show you the combo I used, now unfortunately the shop is closed. This uh, wax Canadian wax vendor is closed right now due to personal reasons. But um, when I received this in the mail, the mo I'm, I think I may even said it on my video. When I smelled this, I was like, oh my gosh, I think it smells just like this. And it's from Ambrosia Shop, which again is a Canadian company, closed, in Sunkiss Coconut. And again, this is identical. This was beautiful. Um, so this may have a little bit more of a citrus note to it, but darn it, they're so close. So um, Ambrosia Shop, again, was a Canadian company. Uh, this was, a, I think it's a two ounce shot. It's either two or one and a half ounce. And I did stick this, I have a really big warmer over here that's actually like the mouth of it is about that wide. So sticking this in here was uh, perfect. So I burnt this particular candle in the living room, stuck this on that burner. And then what another combo I have, um, I'll share with you now, which I mix between my bedroom and my bathroom. And I still have some left, so I'm still going to get through this. Um, still want to melt it. If I just want to change something up because you know how you feel like that's the nice thing about wax you're sick of something not sick of it but you want to change something because you feel like I think I just switched it out with like cookie like a cookie cake scent because I felt like a cookie cake scent and so anyway I just like doing that that's the nice thing about wax melts so both of these are sensationals this one I decided to use as coconut water and the other one is orange mango smoothie so, um, with all four of these, as mentioned, burnt the three wick candle in the living room, had this whole scent shot in the big, big warmer, uh, melter just over here. And then what I did is in, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think. So in my oh, bedroom and bathroom and living room. So there's three missing of each. So I did one of each of these in the living or in the kitchen melter, one of each of these in my bedroom melter, and one of each of these in my 18 watt uh, bathroom plug-in warmer. And uh, anyway, so that's what where I melted them. That's how much, and I'll be doing this still. Uh, so anyway, I was, that's how it got started. This candle to this, and I was like, ooh, yes, I gotta find some other stuff. So first of all, uh, we'll go to the candle last year. First of all, the Sunkissed Coconut from Ambrosia Shop. It did not give me enough throw. Now, on cold, this was a beautiful scent. Um, I really like it, even in this container. There's a little, hey, there you go. It's beautiful. 
summery, almost like laundry, coconut, orange, smoothie, lot with a little laundry note in the background. Like, you know, you got your clothesline out there, that kind of thing. It was just a bit too light for me and the date stumbled out was just the date that I received it. So as you can see, I cured it for about a month. It was uh, the 12th of, of uh, April when I got it. So I don't know if I would repurchase this. Now I, I, from this brand, of course I can't repurchase it, she's closed, but if she were to open again, I don't know if I would repurchase this particular one. There are others that I have melted from her that are stronger. So that is this one. And then, like I said, I mix these two together on an even keel. And so, this is definitely, okay, so coconut water, is, it is light. It is, um, think of a bath and body, minus the alcohol scent. Bath and body works um, body spray in a very like coconut water kind of scent. It's nice and light. You can sort of sense that it probably wouldn't be a, you know, in your face kind of thing. Um, even though it's like a slight hint of a color, I was picking Willow there and I think I got cat fur on my face. Anyway, I almost just ever, ever, ever so slightly, I'm wondering if they mix a tiny little bit of lemon in it too. Is this really good? I really like this. Mm, and I, I think I saw it at my Walmart still, but I'm not certain. I haven't been to Walmart now for a few weeks, so this is really lovely. But because it was a light coconut, I thought, well, because I'm trying to go with this whole sunny coconut business. So I like that, but I felt it was really light, so I wanted to bring something else, obviously. Uh, the orange mango smoothie from Sensationals was the one that I blended it with. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> it smells like those scratch and sniffs when you're a kid. If there was a scratch and sniff orange, that's exactly what I smell. Oh my goodness. And right down to like when you, <laughs> I don't know, it's exactly the first thing in my brain when I smell this. Mm, it is, I don't know about smoothie, but because like a smoothie, I would think that you might have like milk or coconut milk or something like that in there. And really, this is like a just a nice medium, not mild and not super strong, but medium orange and not tart or anything like that. I really like this. Um, yeah, I really, really like this, and I really like that, and together they were wonderful. Um, the throw, like I said on this, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, these two together, because they paired so nicely, I'd say the throw on these two together, like in all the areas I mentioned, I'd probably give it an eight. They were really, really nice, and they lasted a while, so not bad at all, and I'm still gonna be melting some more. Now, the pièce de résistance, folks. Are you surprised? Okay, so just put it into perspective. Before I started melting all those melts that I just mentioned, I thought, well, I'm gonna start burning this candle because this candle's gonna take longer for me to get through than the melts and I wanna kind of finish at the same time. So we did for three days. So for a total of about 20 hours, that's where I'm at. I have been struggling since the first burn. See this face? This face is not happy. I struggled since the first burn on this. In fact, I, I'm doing a lot of this today. Um, this is exactly just over here is where I was burning it. And I was using this like hurricane, which is beautiful. I received it as a Christmas gift from my friend Brita. Um, so you would think that it would entrap maybe the heat a little bit, help it out to burn a little bit better. Um, but it didn't and this is where it was burning in this the whole time in that area right over my shoulder where my TV is first time I lit it um, I think yeah I was home all day so I was like I lit it did some housework came around and I'm like I sat I finally sat down to sit back and kind of go oh you know after all your uh, housework and I looked over there and I'm like is it even lit I don't even see a flame I had to go up to it and look it was already dudded out and PWS, puny wick syndrome, um, within three hours of this thing. Like, you guys, 20 hours of burning, and this is where I'm at. I'm not so happy. So, go figure. Um, again, I don't know which, which video is going to come up next, but I've had a couple really decent burning 
Bath and Body Works candles. Um, so that's great. It's like a golf game. I think I've mentioned this too. It's like a freaking golf game. You like have some great burning Bath and Body Works candles and then you get ones like this. The worst uh, golf game <laughs> in months. And you're like, Rrr. that's where I'm at. I cannot believe it still smells so good, but like even when I burnt this and you know, I put it out and I always trim my wicks prior to my next burn. I never had to do that with this except for the first two times um, after I blew it out and put it to the side and then the next day I'd burn it again. There was on top of not, you can't see it right now, but on top of those black wicks, it was a little bits of white, like a, like ash on top of these wicks. I was like, what the heck? So needless to say, because it didn't burn or really pull out hardly at all, I didn't get a throw. In fact, I got nothing. So this is a complete dud. I think I might be taking this back and returning it during SAS. Um, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't. And I don't take things back often, but as many of us in, in many of us, whether you, you're a YouTube reviewer um, or you just love burning candles, I'm sorry when I've spent my hard earned money and that's what I got. Not, not fair to us, the consumer, I don't think. So I will be probably be saving that to take back with me at SAS, which is, I think starts June 5th. Um, I think it's almost a month. So candle dud, although on cold, beautiful dud throw. These two were winner, winner chicken dinners. These ones were awesome. And guess what guys, it's Walmart. So in Canadian it's like 2 dollars I think I don't know, in the States it's like probably like $1.99 or something like that. But um, excellent, a nice little blend as well. And um, although I probably would say if I were to melt this one on its own, because this is lighter, I would probably say that this might do better in the bathroom. It actually is a nice scent for the bathroom. And then this one would do well in every room, I think. This is great. So you guys, uh, some hits and misses, but we have a you know a little wax cocktail chat chit chat here. Um, again, my, I can't I can't stress my disappointment sometimes. Uh, I don't I, you know I'm, I'm gonna tell you honestly how I feel and that's how I feel. And uh, you know I I'll probably burn two more candles for Bath and Body Works are fantastic, and then I'll burn another one. It's just like ugh. So. Um, while we're chatting here, well, while we're chatting, when it comes to SA, oh, cat hair. When it comes to SAS, I really want soaps, hand soaps, foaming hand soaps, hand lotions, uh, body care only if I can really, really find like a like a couple. But I have so much of it, I really need nothing. Um, and only a, maybe a couple candles. Like I really want that cucumber melon one. I have heard some hits and misses when it comes to how that performed, but um, I wouldn't mind giving it a try. But uh, yeah, hand soaps. Like I'm, I've got tons of winter and fall hand soaps. <laughs> and very, I think I'm down to like two more spring or summer ones and that's it. Cause I haven't bought obviously hand soaps for this particular season at all. In fact, I've only been to Bath & Body Works shopping once this entire year. I, it's sad. Um, I know when I go there next, I will buy probably another warmer, even if I, if I buy it for myself or hold, or hold it for a friend of mine. Um, Cause I think they're the, the warmer that I've mentioned many times is a favorite and you'll see it on pictures on Instagram with a lot of my uh, wax pools come from that warmer cause it lights up. It is beautiful. I, I it's just absolutely stunning. So there you go. And there's my little mini rant at the end. Ah, the little SAS, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. Stop talking Kim. All right, as always, you guys, be safe and have fun.